Hello, and thank you for your interest in the SafeTI Compiler Qualification Kit. My name is Greg Miller. I will be performing a demonstration of executing the test automation unit of the SafeTI Compiler Qualification Kit. The SafeTI Compiler Qualification Kit was developed to assist you in qualifying your use of the TI compiler to functional safety standards. Application of the kit has been assessed by TubeNord to comply with both IEC 61508 and ISO 26262 safety standards. The qualification kit was developed in collaboration with Validas AG, a consulting company in the area of software engineering for embedded systems. The kit includes the qualification support tool, also known as the QST. The QST is a tool developed by Validas that includes a model of the TI compiler. The QST helps you to classify your use of the compiler and determine what tests and mitigation measures are required. The QST also generates the required safety documents, such as the tool classification report, tool qualification plan, and the tool safety manual. The kit includes the SolidSans Super Test Qualification Suite, which provides a high level of test coverage of the compiler and ensures ANSI C conformance. Test coverage is further enhanced by our own TI-developed compiler validation test suites. Tests are executed using the test automation unit and can be run in your environment on target hardware emulation boards. The qual kit includes the Tube Nord assessment report. To further support the user through the qualification process, 24 hours of Validus consulting is included. The following slide shows an overview of the qualification process. In particular, note the portion regarding running the test automation un unit or TAU. You can see the TAU indicated here and here. Using an instrumented compiler used for collecting coverage data, compile your application code and save the coverage files. This step. Then, run the test automation unit for the test list generated by the QST. That's this step. Save the coverage files. Then send both sets of coverage files to TI to compare and review for any gaps. TI will generate a coverage report to address any gaps with additional test cases or mitigations. Once coverage comparison is good, run the test automation unit one more time to execute the qualification tests using the production compiler. Next, I will provide an overview of the test automation unit. The test automation unit, or TAU, automates execution of compiler qualification test cases. The qual kit includes the SolidSans Super Test Qualification Suite along with TI compiler validation test cases. TAU settings are input into a single configuration text file. This includes compiler options, CCS and compiler location, and hardware emulation details. A Perl driver program executes the test cases. Validation reports are generated after test case execution. For this demonstration of the test automation unit, I use the following setup. SafeTI ARM Compiler Qualification Kit version 1.3.2, along with an RM48 Hercules development kit. Additionally, the qual kit requires a Code Composer Studio installation. I'm using version 6.1.2. Next, I will demonstrate configuring the test automation unit. Details for configuring and executing the test automation unit can be found in the TAU user guide in the QKit docs folder of your qualification kit installation. Here's the TAU user guide. The test automation unit is a set of Perl scripts that will run test cases using an installed hardware board. 
The TAU requires Perl to be installed along with some Perl modules specified in the TAU user guide. Configuration of the test automation unit can be done in the following text file. You can see the inputs that I already have for this demonstration. At the end of the file, there's a place to enter the compiler installation path, compiler root, a place to enter your compiler options to be used for the test, the installation location for the qual kit, tau underscore root, the installation location for CCS and CCS root, and the board name for running the tests against. During initial application of the qual kit, after inputting your use case into the Qualification Support Tool, or QST, the QST will generate a list of qualification tests to be run. The test automation unit requires first converting the test list into a format that the test harness can use. See the TAU User Guide Section 4 for details. For this demo, I converted the QST test list into the text file qkittests.txt. and you can see the lists of tests. I've already commented most of them out and we will uncomment a few in order to run them later. Next I will demonstrate running a few individual tests. Executing the test automation unit requires an input list of test cases. The file I'm using qkit tests.txt I already have all the tests commented out and so to run these two tests, uncomment them and save the file. Then start the Windows console command.exe and change directory to the Qkit installation location. and the move to the Qkit Tau folder. You can see in this uh, Explorer window the same location. This is a list of all the tests that could be run and each test uh, is just contained in a, a folder with the test name. In order to run the test that I uncommented in the Qkit test file, you call the Qkit driver program and tell it the name of the test file, the test list file, and then hit enter. You'll see each test running and output being made to the console. This will update as the tests execute. And as individual tests complete, the results are stored in each test case folder in a file named ptrtestlog.txt. So once this test case completes, we can see the results of the test in the test definition folder. You can see we're running compiler app 5 and here are all the files for that test and you can see the PTR test log will have the same console output in it. Right now the test is loading files to the hardware board and running it through CCS. So that was the first test and then it's going to run the second test. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and look at the test log file. You can see it's just the same information that was on the console, along with the results.
and once this other test completes it'll similarly generate output to the console if you do want to stop the test at any point in time you can always do control C to kill a run and while that's running you can also see the entire test run will be summarized at a higher level in this QKit summary file and this just has a list of all the tests that ran and the status of each one so you can start a, a series of tests and then you know go do something else and come back and, and review the results for them the solid sands super test suite can be executed in a similar way if you go back to the configuration file in tau qkit utils config files you'll see that in our test file we could uh, comment out everything except for either super test C or super test C++ and then restart the QKit driver framework and execute those of course they'll take longer than all these individual tests because they s they include the entire test suite that runs as well and you can see our test cases are still continuing to run we hope that this video helped to show how the safety I compiler qualification kit can assist you in qualifying the TI compiler to functional safety standards the safety I compiler qualification kit is one more way TI and our partners are making it easier for customers to develop functional safety applications for more details and ordering information, please go to www.ti.com slash tool slash safety underscore CQ kit, also shown at the bottom of the slide. Thank you for watching.